let's talk about intramuscular. Um, when I give an IM injection, it's a 90 degree angle, okay? So clean your site. When you're giving an IM injection, you have three sites that you can choose from. You can choose the deltoid, you can choose the vastus lateralis in the thigh and the ventral gluteal in the hip. And we will demonstrate those sites for you. Um, you are going to choose each site based on the quantity, okay, of fluid that you're injecting. So this right here, if you look closely at this syringe, you'll see that this is 3.2 mils. Now, here's the rule. You can inject up to, up to one milliliter of fluid in the deltoid. You can inject up to three milliliters of fluid in the thigh or the hip. So if this is 3.2, I technically have to put this in two different syringes, okay? So I would actually have to push this in, push some more fluid back in here, get another syringe, draw up some excess. I cannot give more than three mils in each site, okay, of those two different places. So I'm actually gonna have to put some of this back in. And this poor mannequin's gonna have to get two shots. So you can see now I have two milliliters of fluid and that's appropriate. If I have two milliliters, I can give this now in the thigh or in the hip. Okay, and I'm gonna have to choose another site to give the rest of this. I will demonstrate the sites on the mannequin, but for now I'm just gonna show you the angle to give the shot on the pad. Alcohol. And we're going to give this at a 90 degree angle. For now, because I don't want my injection pad full of this bright yellow fluid, I'm just gonna show you the angle and then demonstrate how to hold the needle on the other sides and actually inject it into the mannequin, okay? So 90 degrees, we need to hold that skin taut and inject right at 90 degrees. You guys are gonna need to practice this. Before you unsheath this needle, practice that dart, okay, technique to get comfortable with the kind of pressure and the dart that you need to get that in at 90 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna hold on to this syringe and we're gonna show you on the mannequin. So first thing is I've gathered my equipment. My order is for Lasix 10 milligrams IM now, okay? So I know that my equipment, I'm gonna need my medication, my syringe, my appropriate needle, some alcohol wipes, gloves, okay? So I've got all my equipment here that I need. Since my order is 10 milligrams, I need to look at my vial. My vial here says Lasix 10 milligrams per milliliter. Easy math, I know that I have to give one milliliter. So my equipment that I've chosen is a three milliliter syringe because I'm confident I can correctly um, measure that one milliliter. So I have a blunt fill needle and I have my actual injection needle. Um, since I'm giving one milliliter of fluid, I'm going to choose the deltoid site. So I have chosen a 22 gauge, one inch needle, okay? And my alcohol wipes here. So first things first, we're gonna um, draw this up and get this ready. So I definitely wanna wash my hands first. At this point, you can choose to wear gloves when you're drawing it up. You don't have to wear gloves at this point. I'm just going to put them on because I know that I'm preparing this medication and then I'm going to administer right here at the bedside. I'm not going to leave. So I feel comfortable that I can put my gloves on now. If I was to leave the room, I'm obviously going to take my gloves off, discard them and don some new gloves, okay? So let's prepare this. I have my syringe and I have what is called a blunt fill needle. Now, this needle's purpose is only to access vials, okay? Let me show you this needle. Very large, blunt, just like it sounds, needle, okay? So again, this is only to access this vial. It is not to um, inject into a patient. So remember my dose, 10 milliliters, or 10 milligrams per milliliter. So I'm going to draw up one milliliter of air. This is a brand new vial. I know I can just pop that off and keep that vial sterile. I don't need to rub it with alcohol. So I'm going to inject my 10 milliliters of air, invert the vial, make sure my syringe tip is within the solution and pull back slowly until I'm comfortable that I have one good milliliter of medication. I then take out my needle from this vial. I do have to recap this. Remember, don't ever push the cap on with your thumb on the end. You're always going to push the cap on 
until you hear that click by keeping your thumb well out of the way of the path of that needle, okay? And I'm gonna switch this needle out. There is a reason why they purposely make this cover bright red. Okay, that should always be a warning to you. That does not go into a patient. So I know that I have to switch this out. So I now have my appropriate size needle. Again, never leave this down here. Anytime you have a sharps that you're finished with, it goes straight into the sharps container. Okay, so I've prepared my medication. Make sure that you also have verified. Um, we're gonna talk about some patient rights, but make sure you have verified that it's the right medication and it's appropriate, okay? I am going to verify that I have the right patient here. I'm gonna look at the wristband and verify, yes, this is Mr. Jones. Can you state your birth, state your birthday? Great, okay, I've verified the right patient. I have verified the right med. This is Lasix. I have verified that it's the right dose. It is 10 milligrams that I have ordered. I have verified it's the right here, yes, 10 milligrams per one mil. I have verified it's the right route. This is an IM injection. Um, and I have verified it's the right time. This physician wants this now. So that is, um, I have verified all my five rights, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and administer this. Okay, so I have moved this mannequin a little bit over on his side and put this pillow here just to show you and demonstrate these sites, make it a little bit easier. Remember the patient's left side, I'm gonna use my right hand to find this ventral gluteal site. Much more difficult on a mannequin than it is on a person, okay? So remember, I'm gonna use my middle finger, fill for that iliac crest, heel of my hands, gonna feel greater trochanter, and I'm gonna spread these fingers, okay? It makes it easy because the injection pad for you is on the mannequin, um, but you do need to demonstrate using proper terminology. Greater trochanter, middle finger, heel of hand, or sorry, iliac crest with middle finger, greater trochanter, with the heel of your hand, spread the fingers and right in between that third and fourth finger is your injection site, okay? For the vastus lateralis, top of thigh, knee, divide that into thirds, and then divide the middle section into thirds and you go on that outer third of the thigh, okay? Now we will demonstrate the deltoid where we will actually give the medication. We are going to administer this in the deltoid site one thing to keep in mind, I hope that you notice, is we always provide patient privacy. So don't expose any of the, any parts of the patient that you don't need exposed. Um, try to keep them covered up as much as possible. So here I've just kind of rolled the shirt up so I can expose that arm and so I can measure appropriately and know where to give that site, where to give that injection. So I'm gonna take this pad and start cleaning from the inside out. Remember a reminder again of how we found this site. A chromium process, okay? You feel for the chromium process with your finger. You draw a triangle below, and it's about the middle to top third of that injection site. And again, feel for that muscle. Have that patient move that arm around a little bit. Feel that muscle, okay? So we're gonna clean. Don't wave, don't blow, just wait until this site dries. And I'm gonna get my needle ready. This has a safety sheath, so I know as soon as I pull out this needle, I've got to click that sheath closed to cover this needle. That protects me, that protects the patient, but it still goes immediately into the sharps. So I'm going to pull the cap off. I'm going to bunch up the tissue, kind of hold it in place here, and I'm gonna hold this needle just at a 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna get that nice dart. Once that needle's all the way in, I stabilize with this hand and I inject my fluid slowly into the patient. Once all the solution's in, I'm gonna hold that syringe for 10 seconds. Okay, let that medication absorb a little bit. So after 10 seconds, I'm gonna again hold that skin, pull that needle out at the exact same angle, activate this safety feature till that clicks right in the sharps container. How did that feel? Was that all right? It was, it was doable, okay. So at this point, I do need to make sure he's comfortable. I do need to chart this. So I'm going to chart the medication I gave, uh, the time that I gave, how the patient responded. Um, was he cooperative? Did he have any pain? Did I notice any abnormalities at the injection site before or after? Um, and that's required documentation. All right, Mr. Jones, you did great. Again, we're gonna wait about an hour, 30 minutes until you should start to feel the effects of that. Take my gloves off. 
wash my hands, make sure I've gathered all my supplies, and we are done.